Welcome to Misa Arch. Misa Arch, one of the most photographed landscapes uh, probably and painted of all time. It is iconic for this moment of the dawn coming through the arch and illuminating the underside. And so we got up really early in the morning, drove through the fog, Really kind of dangerous, first in the dark, and then, well, the light didn't help much, see any better, um, to arrive to a snow-packed scene. Um, And on my way, I took this picture because it kind of reminded me of, well, that. You know this, right? This is the Sistine Chapel. And, well, I was working on the foreground and background here uh, of this snow scene on my way to getting lost to find Mesa Arch. Welcome to Mesa Arch. This is the pre-dawn light. It's really majestic. (laughs) Pretty soon it's going to be golden hour. Actually, it is golden hour. This is the pre-dawn light. And yeah, you're hoping to get that iconic picture. You've got your camera set up. You know, this is what it would have looked like from this guy's camera. But he just stood there. He didn't take any pictures. He just stood there in the cold. And so I said, okay, this is kind of blown. Let's just put our camera down and kind of sneak in there. They look like they're getting, they're giving up. They can't get the picture. And then we made a nice little time-lapse moment to celebrate our arch. Misa arch. So that's one little save from, you know, weather didn't cooperate with making a great landscape picture. But still, I was fascinated by the snow um, and the potential for this arch. Um, So I worked it from a little different angle down here with my little mini tripod, locking focus and exposure and just to see if I could get something worthwhile. It's pretty mysterious. I kind of like it, actually. It's, it's not the traditional Mesa Arch photo. Here it is, just a little slightly different framing. And so that meant we had to get back on the road, another hour drive passed, and then suddenly the fog lifted. And we could see the, the layer of fog in the canyon lands. And it just had to say, stop, stop. It's one of those moments, stop the car. Stop the car and get out and try to work the scene. It's moving away. It's getting foggy again. Which angle is going to be best? Is it going to be, you know, the ultra wide? Or is it going to be the wide? How can I bring this moment home? It's really more beautiful than the camera's showing. And I just stayed with it and kept I guess getting a little bit closer to those bushes. And that's what gave me this beautiful um, color and texture of the mountains and the fog and the bushes. And I really liked it. Ultimately, I cropped out the sun because um, the other elements of the image were so much stronger. And so that's how you can turn kind of uh, a blown weather opportunity, you know, where you're not in control of the weather, um, when you're trying to go after an iconic landscape picture and you come away with something maybe a little bit more special.